morning sun rises to greet him. And in its low, warm light, he stands like some sort of, of pagan god or deposed tyrant. Staring out over the city, he's sworn to, to stare out over. And it's evident just by looking at him that he's got some pretty heavy things on his mind. Patrol, morning patrol, coffee. Good morning, Arthur! And a fine morning it is. I'm up, I'm up, morning patrol. I, I got it. No! No patrols today, small friend. Today is our day off. We're going to spend quality time together. We're going to Dinosaur Grotto. <laughs> Look, guided tours daily of a working dinosaur dig. Come watch our team of expert scientists dig up real dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones, sleepy sidekick. Fun and educational. Whatever. Now, as long as we're back by six and Dot isn't kept waiting. Ah, yes. The sister. That's right. And she still doesn't approve of my superhero lifestyle. I only asked her to dinner to show her that I'm still a sane and loving person. Family values! You're crazy for that sibling! <laughs> uh, yeah, so tonight, can you just tone it da down? Not a problem, gentle Avenger. I will suppress my every urge. <laughs> As you can plainly see, these giant reptiles ruled the prehistoric Earth for eons. They weren't very bright, <laughs> but they were very, very big. And that concludes this afternoon's tour. Once again, I'm Dinosaur Neil, and as Chief Paleontologist here at the Grotto, I'd like to thank you all for coming. And remind you that we have t-shirts and other souvenirs right here in the gift shop. Consume! <laughs> Eager, Imp. I must say it's a pleasure to see superheroes taking such an interest in science. Wonderful tour, Dinosaur Neil. I never knew I could learn so much. <laughs> yeah. No, just to retain it. Dinosaur Neil, look, we found a femur. Hmm, a potosaurus, beautifully preserved. Just what I need. You boys like science. Why not come back to my tent? I'll show you the kind of science you can't find in a textbook. I believe I can grow a dinosaur with the help of these fossils. Well, I don't know. Uh, that doesn't sound possible. Mm -hmm. It is. I saw it in a movie once. My machine synthesizes living tissues from fossilized DNA patterns. Hey, smooth. Look here. I've already grown some dinosaur tissue. I have to keep it in a solution of acetosalicylic acid. Otherwise, I'm afraid it would just keep on growing indefinitely. I figure I'll have a fully functional organism by the middle of next month. Bad move, Neil. Well, no harm done. Too bad you boys have to leave so soon. If you could stick around, you could catch the fireworks and the parade of extinction. Fireworks? Extinction? Keen. We'd like to, Dinosaur Neil, but we have to... Uh, Tick, uh, we have to make dinner for Dot. We're late. Oh, yeah. Bye, boys. <laughs> Mine small child proof cap impossible. Uh, oh, that, that's the timer. 
The fettuccine's ready. Uh, sauce is done. Uh, here, crush this garlic. <laughs> oh, the stink of it. Uh, she's here. Uh, take, take off that shirt. <clears throat> Dot, hi. <laughs> You remember the tick, don't you? Yes, I remember the tick. Oh, Dot, you look lovely tonight. Your hair is like a halo of mouse brown fire. Whatever did you do with it? I washed it. Arthur, this is delicious. I'm glad to see you still have time to cook. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, oh, the tick tossed the salad. Yes, quite a challenge. Dad really messed you up, didn't he? Hey, God, ma'am, that thing is speaking a language that hasn't been heard on Earth in 4,000 years. Nub! Interrupt tonight's episode of The Mummy Speaks to bring you this special report. Good evening. I'm Sally Vacuum. The authorities have issued a citywide alert. Dinosaur Neil, and paleontologist and tour guide in Dinosaur Grotto, is now 70 feet tall and walking down Main Street. <laughs> As you can see, Neil is still growing. We have with us one of the city's superheroes, Deflator Mouse. Thank you, Sally. Deflator Mouse, can you tell us what the superhero community plans to do about this menace? <sighs> Good question, Sally. I think we'll just, um... Oh, sit this one out and wait for the National Guard. So, uh, when's this gonna be on? <laughs> Must save city. Tick, tone it down. <laughs> this cake is delicious, Dot. What is it? Chocolate. Scientists ready to give you assistance and a big pair of pants! Man, those are big pants. Sauce has the largest trousers in the world! Well, I wouldn't say he's rampaging per se. The National Guard says it won't come unless a dinosaur is officially rampaging. I think we can confirm that rampage. I'm sorry, Dot. Arthur? Tick? Let's go! <laughs> now you're talking, chum! To action! Well, don't expect me to do the dishes! Talk some sense into him. Hey, Dinosaur Neil! What are you doing? Oh, I see. You're rubbing me the wrong way, friend. Acetosalicylic acid. Hmm. Wait! 
Tick! I have an idea! Tick! I'm trapped! In the mustache of a titan! To safety, sidekick! Arthur? Arthur, fight that wild hair! <laughs> well, mine didn't work. What's yours? Well, this morning, a dinosaur Neil said that he had to keep his dinosaur tissue in a solution of acetosalicylic acid to keep it from growing. Uh, uh, Tick! Acetosalicylic acid is aspirin. If we can give Neil a dinosaur-sized dose of aspirin, he might shrink back to normal. Well, I'll try anything once. Let's see now. We usually recommend two aspirins for an average-sized adult. Now, how much did you say your friend weighs? Hmm, uh, about 180 tons. And still growing. Oh, okay, give us a minute. So, do you think Dot's mad at you? <sighs> Maybe, but she has to understand that this is what I want to do with my life. Guard. Mm -hmm. This could mean the city needs the human bullet. Fire me, boy! Here you go, boys. This ought to cure what ails them. Wait, sir, wait! We can save him. All we need is five minutes. What can you do in five minutes, civilians? Superheroes, sir. <laughs> We're going to give him an aspirin. Hey! Get back here! You may not know this, sir, but nearly 2,000 years ago, a brew made from white willow leaves was recommended for gout. Today, a remedy based on that same chemical, aspirin, is the most widely used medicine in the world. But aspirin is strong medicine and should be taken only as directed. And children should never, ever take aspirin except under the supervision of their parents or a licensed physician. That's good advice. Hey, Arthur! How are we going to get Neil to take this pill? I mean, do we have a plan for that? Look out! What? Oh, tick! Looks like your friend's being devoured. Okay, everybody! Ready! Aim! No! Give the tick a chance. He's nigh invulnerable. He'll be okay. He's got to be. You can't shoot me away. Down the head, big boy. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Bond. I'm okay. Once again, this is Sally Vacuum at the scene of the Dinosaur Neo Crisis. The National Guard has the deranged dinosaur surrounded, but maintains a tense ceasefire. Apparently, one of the city's most prominent superheroes, the Tick, has fed himself to Dinosaur Neo, along with an enormous aspirin, in a desperate attempt to bring the rampaging reptile under control. The Tick appears to have been devoured in one of the most selfless and heroic acts this reporter has ever witnessed. This, after a spokesman for the superhero community said that they would, quote unquote, sit it out and wait for the National Guard. This looks kind of bad, doesn't it? Minutes ago, I recorded an exclusive interview with the pharmacist who provided the giant aspirin that may be the key to the dinosaur's downfall. That was quite an aspirin. Oh, I suppose so. Was that the largest prescription you've ever filled? Oh, yes, uh, but I made a huge cough drop once. And how big was that? Oh, I see. Uh, size of a quarter. Thank you, Sid the pharmacist. Bring him to the pants. Bring him to the pants. silence at the must-go shopping plaza as we all wait to see what fate has befallen the tick. Yes, that's about it for the blue guy. But he went down fighting. It can't be. Okay, everybody, let's try this again. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> to the showers with us! So, tell me, Tick, when you were, uh, you know, in my mouth, um, fighting my tongue, was that uh, weird for you or anything? Uh, unique, Neil. Unique. But all in a day's work for a superhero. Well, you saved my life. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Arthur. The aspirin was his idea. Well, Arthur, I have to admit it. You guys saved Dinosaur Neil and the whole city. But I'm still not going to do the dishes. It is really good to be human again. Well, once again, my friend, we find that science is a two-headed beast. One head is nice. It gives us aspirin and other modern conveniences. But the other head of science is bad. Oh, beware the other head of science, Arthur! It bites! And it can really ruin a good day off.